Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting a new project pan for my lip products. So I did this briefly in 2020. Um, I did it for a bit in 2020. It didn't, I kind of like fell off the wagon at the end of 2020 with the project. Um, not that I just like wasn't committed, but I just like the move happened. We moved like right around Halloween and that kind of just like knocked everything off. So I never did like a finale or anything. Um, but I am revamping this currently for 2021 and I'm going to do it for the whole year. I am dedicated. I'm going to do it for the whole year of 2021. So what I am doing, if you did not watch my last lip product project pan um that's very hard to say and there's not a lot of these videos <laughs> on the internet so i kind of struggled with what i was going to do but basically my plan is i don't want to necessarily like finish a bunch of lip glosses i would like to but my problem is is most of my lip products are nearly full so I'm running into the issue of either I'm going to like dedicate to using up a full gloss and neglect all my other products or how do I like evenly distribute use among all the things so that's what I would prefer to do um, and just really get some good use on like vast majority of things as opposed to like using one thing all the way up and then I didn't use anything else for the whole year. Um, so kind of how I decided, I was like, should I just pan one or a couple or should I, you know, try and use them all, etc. I like put them all out this morning so they could like settle. Um, like I just wanted to see where they were at kind of like, you know, like along the side. Um, and a lot of them are really full. I mean, I got like six alone for Christmas as gifts. Um, so those are new, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a, a lot of stuff is really full. These are two of my oldest lip glosses. This is Fenty Glow and this is Dose of Colors over the top. Um, this is like here and this is like here. It's just like, these are my oldest ones and they're still really, really full. So um, I wanna get some use like all the way across the board how I decided I'm going to do this. It's a little, it's kind of along the same lines as last year, but it's a little bit different. So I'm doing the whole entire year. Last year, I was just going to do the last 100 days of the year. This time I'm going to try and go all 2021. So my goal is lofty. Um, I want to get 2000 uses out of my lip products in 2021. Um, that seems like a lot, but really I did the math and it's roughly like five and a half uses every day. Five and a half uses really isn't that lot. And I feel like I really, that lot, that didn't even make sense. That's not a lot. It's not that much. <laughs> it's been a day. Um, it's really not very much. And I think what knocked me off, um, at the end of last year is my goal was to use things like three times a day. So three times really isn't hardly any. And I think then I just like let myself slide. I was like, oh, I didn't use any yesterday, but I can just use it six times a day and like make up yesterdays and whatever. So before I like really decided I was going to do this, um, kind of like the week in between New Year's and like up till today, I've just been like picking a lip gloss or a lip product, whatever. I mostly own lip glosses, but I own some like these things that are like, they're not really lipstick. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, they're just really easy to wear. And I've just been trying to like wear it as much as possible. Um, and it's been going really good. I've been applying things maybe like five, six, seven plus times a day. Um, and I mean, really, once I started thinking about it, I was like, if I just set this out of my desk at work and I just apply it every hour, like on the top of the hour or whatever it might be, that's nine times a day alone. Not counting like if I did it in the car on the way to work or if I did it like what any other time besides then, like that's a lot more. So really, I think once I was thinking about it, I'm like, really, it's not that hard. I think I was just being lazy in a sense. And I feel like I was finding a lot of excuses like, oh, I can't put my lip gloss on because I'm about to like put my mask on and walk down the hallway and that type of thing. 
Um, whereas over the past week, I was just like, oh, I'll just put my lip gloss on. Like the odds of me walking down the hallway in the next 10 minutes are probably low. I'll just apply it now and then go in 10 minutes and it'll be set down more and it won't be all over my mask anyway. Like your, our, your mask already has makeup on it. You may as well just apply the lip gloss. Like I basically came to the point where I was like, okay, are you gonna not wear lip gloss or any lip product to avoid getting it on your mask that already has makeup on it? And are you comfortable with just letting your lip product sit and not get used? And I was basically like, no, who cares if I wear my mask and have a lip product on and no one knows it. Like I'm wearing them for me, I like to wear them. I'm not wearing them for other people, so who cares if I have a mask on or not? So I kind of like had an internal fight with myself, as you can tell, I was just like getting very angry that I got so lazy and just dismissive of the project. And so I really wanted to revamp it. So my goal is 2000 because really that is only like five or so uses in a day. Um, I want to use all my lip glosses or lip products across the board, like I said, um, but I'm not going to be necessarily tracking like how much I use of each product. Um, I'll probably check in every month, like putting them all up on my counter again and just like letting them settle and see what needs a little bit of extra love and that type of stuff um, and maybe go from there. Um, but I think that I got too caught up last time in trying to decide like, oh, I used Fenty Glow five times and I only used the Tarte one two times. Like I, I just want to use what I want to use and I don't want to think too much about like, well, I have to use this one to make it even to this one and that type of thing. And I think that'll make my tracking a little bit easier. So um, I am going to talk about tracking a little bit later in this video because I know a lot of people were asking about it um, and I want to share it with you guys. So um, even though I want to use like a lot of products across the board and I think I'm just going to like pick some out and you know, put one in my purse every day, whatever the case may be. Um, I have three that I picked out that I would like to finish. So in the end, if I only use these three and I finish these three, I'm going to count that as a win. Um, if I can finish these three and get some use on other things, that'd be a huge win. Um, how I came to this is I really want to finish these three products just because um, the first one is Fenty Glow. I've had this about since it came out, which has been a long time, and this goes on your lips. Um, but also, like, I get that these are really big containers, but I'm really only to, like, the E on Fenty. Like, I've hardly used any of this. So, it's moved a lot. I've been really working on this sucker over, like, the past week, and it's already moved down from probably, like, the F to the E. Like, it's, I've seen movement. Um, and all I've been doing is just reapplying it throughout the day. It's, it's really hasn't been that hard. Um, this is also Dose of Colors Over the Top. Had this since it came out a long time ago. Have a backup of it even. Um, I, this is one of my favorite glosses and I just avoid using it because I'm nervous, um, like that I, it's my favorite. I, it's so dumb that I do this to myself. Like I have other favorite glosses, but like this one just, it get, it's, I'm in that mindset where I'm like, don't use it, then you'll be out of it but now I've had it for three years and it's, it could go off any day. <laughs> um, I also wanna use up the Tarte Rose. Um, this is their Lip Quench Rescue, something of that nature. I used up one of these last year in a different shade. Um, I wanna use up this one this year because one, I know that they're fairly easy to use up since I used one up last year. And I have a duplicate of Rose. I got it for Christmas. So I want to use up this one so that I only, I don't need two basically. Um, I am not going to be like marking these and I'm, I might talk about these in updates. I plan to do an update every month. Um, but I'm not positive because I'm actually planning on putting these specific products in my makeup projects pan. I haven't done a makeup project pan on my channel in a really long time and I was debating it because I have a really hard time with filming the videos, especially project pans are hard because you have to like edit in the pictures and, and whatnot and I have a really hard time with editing my 
videos and like storage space. Like when I go to edit videos, it's like you're out of space and then I have to delete a bunch of stuff and then it still won't save and then I have to like re-download it. And so it just causes me a lot of issue, but I'm going to try it. I mean, I'm like, if that's the only video that I have to like go through that process for, I can kind of prepare for that as opposed to doing like every video that way. Um, it just, it's a hassle but I'm working with what I have. I'm not about to go out and buy XYZ thing for thousands of dollars so that I can put a picture in my video. Like, I don't care about it that much. It's just nice to have, but my savings is more important than this at the current time. Um, but I am going to start doing a makeup project pan. It's going up maybe like next week, I wanna say. And I'm going to include these in it. Probably not all at the same time. I think I'm going to put the Fenty Glow in it to start and then um, go from there. I think this is the one I want to focus on the most. So, and it's probably gonna be the hardest one, but it's the one I wanna focus on the most. So, that's the situation with those. If you're into makeup project pans, check that out next week. I'm really excited to start it. I've been watching. A lot and like I love Sarah Rose if you guys know her channel I think her project pan over the past year has just inspired me to like restart my own so I'm gonna talk about tracking now so for those of you who were like how do you track this type of project pan so this obviously is all over the board it's not um, it's not like lines on products it's not as simple as that it's like how do you stay organized in the sense of I used up or I used four thing four times today um, yesterday I did three uses the day before it was five whatever um, I'm kind of setting this up similar to how I did last year's but that was on pencil and paper and I think with the move and everything I just got way too disorganized and so this year I'm doing electronic not that I intend to move again, but just for organization to make it easier on myself. So I actually have this spreadsheet that I'm going to show you guys. I gotta turn my brightness down. This gets me every time. So, mm, no, <laughs> that's not it. Oh crap, okay, you can still see it though. So this spreadsheet, as you just saw, is in my inventory tracker, which I have shared with you guys, link down below in my description box, every video I post. Um, the first tab on this, I have a hard time holding this as always, the first tab on this spreadsheet is inventory, the second tab down here is lip project pan tracker. Yep, that's what it's called. So on this, I made this really for myself, but to share with you guys as well. Um, it has every day of the month, so like 1 through 31, and then I made a column, row, column, <laughs> not an Excel person, um, I made a column for each month and then a corresponding day. So I'm going to zoom this way in for you guys. So as you can see in this corner, so this is January, Ugh, this dang thing, um, Okay, this is January, like say the second I used a lip product one time. I'm, I don't know how much I used on the second, but I know I used it at least once, so I just put one. Um, but like yesterday, I used my lip product six times, so I put six there. How this works is at the bottom, I have summed like how the whole month's usage so that I don't have to count that up myself like I did when it was paper. Um, and then at the top, obviously you guys, if you open this yourself, you're gonna see it way easier than this video. Um, but I'm just trying to explain it to you. At the top, I have a count of how many times total. So like, you know, if it's the middle of March, I'm like, what have I possibly used up so far? Um, and because I like to get into the numbers and the weeds of things, I also did a calculation at the top that says how many days are left in the year and how many uses do I have to get to my goal? And what number of uses per day would I need to get there? And that's what this 5.52 right here, that's what that's doing. So it's just taking, oh, there's 360 days up to the year. You need 1,995 uses left. That is 
5.52 uses per day. It's really not that complicated, but the formula is kind of funky, so that's what it means. So as same as the inventory tracker, if you guys want to use the spreadsheet, you can go in and say like make a copy and save it to your own Google Drive um, and t go over this. Like you don't have to, you could use this for anything. I use this also for like tracking my steps or miles and I'm planning on doing it for the whole uh, year of 2021, like how many miles I've walked or whatever, like for my fitness tracker. Um, you could do it for like cups of water. You could use this tracker for literally anything. Um, I think it's very simple and helpful. Um, so yeah, you could definitely use it and not use it for project planning if you don't want to. Some people did ask about my spreadsheets, um, if I have them in Excel versions and I just typically work off this iPad. I recently, um, have been able to do some work off of a laptop, which has helped, but the laptop doesn't have any, um, Microsoft office stuff on it stuff i don't know like it doesn't have word it doesn't have excel like i don't have a subscription i don't pay to have like word or excel um so all i can access is google drive so unfortunately i don't have um a word or excel version and i think you can like export these from google docs to or google files what are they called sheets i think it's google sheets to excel but I can't even do it on my laptop because I don't have um, a Windows subscription or a Microsoft Office subscription. Like I don't have Excel. So I'm very sorry about that. I don't know. I think you can open these even if you don't have a Google Drive. And I think you can say export and it says save as Excel. I think you can do that and I think it would like save onto your Windows computer if you had Excel. My Windows computer does not. <laughs> so that's how I'm running this project. I will check in next month about this time um, on how it's going, where my numbers are at currently. As you can see from my spreadsheet, I'm at seven, but I've already used this Tarte Lip product eight times today. So I'm kicking butt. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling just really inspired. I know everyone says at the start of the new year, like, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. But I really have just been feeling this way for a while and I think I've just finally kicked myself in gear. Like, I'm going to start using these things instead of just wanting to use these things. So I'm really excited about this project and I'm excited I finally found a like goal and how I want to do it and that type of thing because I was kind of struggling with that. So if you guys are going to join me, let me know how many products you're starting with down below for lip products and what your usage goal is. I have 30 lip products I'll be working on and like I said, my goal is 2,000 uses for the year. So let's do this thing. Let me know where you guys are at. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.